Tonight, we report on why the city of Moses Lake has decided to close the Larson Recreation Center, and the Quincy Valley Medical Center looks to join negotiations with Grant County and Live Nation over the Gorge Amphitheater. What's happening in sports, Bob? Number two ranked Afreda shuts out Quincy on the pitch, and Moses Lake soccer pushes its win streak to seven games. Will there be rain in the Columbia Basin tonight? Let's take a glance at our weather center forecast. Good to be with you, everybody. Rain still across the area. Conditions improve overnight tonight across our immediate region. I'll tell you how long that will last in just a few moments. I'm Alan Troop, and we have all this and much more on iFiber One News. From the iFiber One HD studio here in the heart of the Columbia Basin, this is iFiber One News, your number one source for local news, sports headlines, and our very own weather center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. This is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Police arrested two men for vehicle prowling after a man reportedly provided his real name when he bought items with a stolen credit card. Prosecutors charged Ryan Vinson, a 22-year-old Moses Lake man, and Joshua Brown, a 23-year-old Moses Lake man, in connection with four vehicle prowls on October 5th. Vinson and Brown reportedly stole a wallet containing a credit card from one of the vehicles. He allegedly used the credit card at an auto parts store. As part of the purchase, Vincent allegedly gave the store his customer loyalty card to get a discount. The information included with the loyalty card had Vincent's name and a description of his vehicle. The victim reported to police the card was used at the auto parts store. Vincent and Brown were arrested later after a short chase near Samaritan Healthcare. The city of Moses Lake is closing the Larson Recreation Center and canceling the museum's holiday show. The City Council made the decision Tuesday night following an executive session to discuss labor relations. The item wasn't included on the agenda and the public wasn't informed the Council would make a decision following the executive session. City Manager Joe Gavinsky said an exact date for the closing of the Recreation Center hasn't been decided. The decision includes closing the ice rink, the building, and the BMX track. Officials expect the city will save $125,000 between 2014 and 2015 by closing the center. Kavinsky said he doesn't expect REC Silicon to pay its roughly $7.5 million property tax bill from 2013. City officials expected to receive $1.2 million in revenue from the payment. The company has until Friday to pay the bill following a decision by the State Board of Tax Appeals. REC has appealed the board's decision to the Thurston County Superior Court. The money would cover the $1.3 million the city isn't receiving in property tax from 2014, following a decision by the Grant County Board of Equalization to lower the company's property value. City officials expect REC will continue to challenge its property tax value next year and plan to receive less money. The city is planning for a $1.8 million budget deficit next year. The city council plans to have a special meeting on November 4th to discuss the budget. Quincy Valley Medical Center officials want to be part of the negotiations between Grant County and Live Nation. Hospital Administrator Medi Merritt st stated in emails with Grant County Commissioner Cindy Carter that he wants the hospital included in the county's agreement with the company for the Gorge Amphitheater. Part of the agreement includes a section on the organizations the company agrees to negotiate with, including the Washington State Patrol, Grant County Fire District 3, and Grant PUD. Hospital officials argue the concert venue cost the hospital roughly $400,000 in unpaid medical bills in 2013. The hospital district presently owes Grant County about $4 million, and hospital officials blame a portion of the debt on cost caused by the amphitheater. A man served 12 days in jail after he allegedly threatened his sister-in-law because he thought she put a curse on him. Rodolfo Ramirez, a 56-year-old Moses Lake man, entered a plea in Grant County Superior Court to harassment. 
Grant County Superior Court Judge John Nodell followed the prosecutor's and defense attorney's recommendation and sentenced Ramirez under a first-time offender waiver. Ramirez reportedly threatened his sister-in-law with a knife in her Moses Lake residence and accused her of cursing him. When he approached the victim, she kicked him in the groin and he fled the home. The women's, woman's sons allegedly attacked Ramirez later in the night. Abraham Rodriguez, Jr., a 33-year-old Moses Lake man, and Juan Rodriguez, a 36-year-old Moses Lake man, remain charged in Grant County Superior Court with assault in the first degree. And now we take a look at people being sought by law enforcement. This is Sheriff Tom Jones with the Grand County Sheriff's Office. Each of the people you see here have a warrant for their arrest. If you see any of these people, we ask you to not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but call us at 509-762-1160 or send us an email at primetips at co.grant.wa.us. If the person is presenting a danger, call 911. With your help, we can bring these people to justice and make our community safer. We'll be back right after this.